Previously, we built and installed the last structural post and prepared ourselves to install the 35-foot beam for the roof on the south side of the house. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Coming up. With the majority of the second floor being roof line, there aren't that many walls that need to be built before starting the roof. So as long as we have the subfloor complete to work off of, we will soon be able to install the ridge beam, which sits 18 feet in the air off the second level. You want to have huge windows, like full body length windows in the shower? I'm going to get a lot of phone calls from production companies when they see me in that shower. That's a fact. <laughs> 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 Unfortunately, there are some changes that do have to be made to the original design. If it starts to go, if those boards snap and it's going to go off the wall, let it go. Okay, because it's extremely heavy. You don't want anyone getting yeah, crushed under it. Three, two, one, left. Go, go, go. Left. Alright, push forward. Push forward. Go, go, forward. Go, go. The real test is the one below staring us in the face day after day. It's a 13 by 28 block safe room. 640 12 inch blocks waiting to be laid from ground level to the second floor. We spent last night and this morning doing all of the prep work to get ourselves into a position where we can successfully lay block today and get this safe room built. So we went through and we got all of the story poles up and plumb. Move it that way. I get you. Let's get perfect. We cleaned up the entire workspace and I think that we are mentally ready to tackle this kind of daunting task. Yes, yeah, 680 blocks of uh, 12 inch block. So that's a lot of work. I'll get the mortar. I'll get the block. And we are not <laughs> professionals no. by any means. We're no. quite slow. But she will be a professional but by the time this <laughs> job is done. Trust me on that. So the plan is for the next however many days it takes, we are going to only focus on block. You got it? Yep. We're gonna lay a block, lay block, lay more block until this entire room is completely built. <laughs> we gotta paint ourselves in the corner. That's what happened. <laughs> yes, but it's fine. We're gonna rock out with our block out. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. That is your I, I think that's the kind of stuff I have to edit out. <laughs> Go down till this hits here. You're deep enough. Go to the next hole, come back through, blow everything out. We'll pox everything, the rebar in there, need more rebar, holler at me, I'm gonna get a lamp off. I'm gonna take the saw, notch this block. The rebar's got the edge of the web right there. Gotta notch it out real quick so we can put the block in. So we're gonna take this block, we're gonna mark it 10 inches, we're gonna cut it off, and then we're done with the first course the entire way around. And now we're gonna start rolling with the second course.
You've heard us talk about our Ridge wallets, but have you heard us talk about their new carry-on? This video is sponsored by Ridge. This is holiday travel season. And hockey season for us. Don't forget to pack this, please. Our Ridge carry-on is the perfect balance between everyday smart design and rugged quality. It is lightweight, but yet has 30% thicker shell than standard carry-on. The integrated tracker pocket adds peace of mind, ensuring you never lose your belongings. It contains a mesh laundry bag, shoe tote, leather luggage tag, and an optional packing cube add-on. Available in four colors with matching backpacks, the Ridge Travel Collection is simply engineered better, all the way down to its waterproofing. What? It's waterproof. I'm quality control here, you know, I gotta test a few things. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it works. <laughs> With water resistant zippers and trolleys mounted to the outside of the bag and on the backpack, it's built to keep your belongings dry and protected. Featuring high quality oversized 360 degree spinning wheels and a smoother roller, the carry-on and the matching commuter backpack are the perfect cohesive collection to keep your laptop, tablets, and belongings safe and dry. Plus, Ridge makes it easy to ensure that their travel collection is the right fit for you or the person that you gifted to this holiday season. You can try out Ridge worry-free for 99 days. If it's not your perfect travel companion, they'll make it right. Take advantage of Ridge's lifetime warranty and get 10% off all travel products using our code WWOG and our link in the description box below. Here you go, a little espresso. Thank you. That's how we roll here. Cheers. We're gonna need this might help us go a little bit quicker because there's not much daylight left these days. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. If you guys look right here, this is our safe room. It's actually got 28 feet this way by 13 feet that way. And we have to go up, I think about 10 feet. The walls change out from an eight inch wall to a 12 inch wall. Each cell is rebar and concrete filled. So right now the rebar comes up two and a half to three feet. Once we go through and lay all the blocks up to the proper elevation, we're going to go through and leave cutouts for all the nine steel beams that go across from wall to wall. Once those cutouts are done, we'll go through and drop rebar down each cell and turn them out into the concrete ceiling. We'll pour concrete. Once the concrete is poured, we'll drop a plate into where the uh, steel beams are sitting at the steel beams will get welded to the plate and on top of the steel beams we're going to have a pan decking the pan decking go towards the edge of the block walls and we're not going to fill the last two courses of the block with concrete until we pour the ceiling of the safe room so the safe room is going to be poured concrete with rebar going through there and it's actually going to pour down the wall those top two courses so it's all one solidified solid piece. The wall goes up to the concrete ceiling. And this right here is the bottom floor of the boys' bedroom. Their floor joists are actually going to sit on top of the concrete ceiling of the safe room. So that's pretty much where we're at. It's obviously a huge project, multi-step yes. yes. project. Yes. But we are always up for a challenge. I think you guys know that. I mean, even with the cafe, we, we were up for that and we made it happen. We're on the end of that. That's opening here next few weeks. We're done, we're on fire marshal. Got a couple odds and ends, but we're done. We're counting down the days <laughs> to opening day. You guys can actually go to the website. You can look at the whole menu already. Yes. You can even buy the coffee and try it at home. It's the exact coffee that we're gonna be serving in the it's cafe. It's amazing too, by the way. Yes, yeah. We've all seen Josh's reaction <laughs> to the coffee, and if you haven't seen it, you should probably see that. <laughs> this is what dreams are made of, guys. I'm not gonna drink this. <laughs> it's too I, hard. I've had too much caffeine. <laughs> I can tell. Do you want this? Oh my god. <laughs> up. Step away from the espresso machine. It's just so tempting. Look how good that looks. I mean, I know. I know. It's, it's perfect. What can I say? You know? That's how we do. Josh. Josh. <laughs> it's magnificent. The most exciting thing about the coffee and the cafe is everything is all family based. So yep. from the small family farmer to the small family roastery with Jordan and Kaylee to our small family run cafe. We're just, we're excited about it. That's right there guys. Not so excited about the block. No. We're going to get through it. You ready? <laughs> Never. <laughs> Once you drink that, you'll be ready. Let's go. Yesterday was just the warm up. Today's the true test. How much block I get late in the day? Wrong block. I need the ones that are opened, like the, like the edges that are opened. 
Why did you tell me so I'm going to cherry pick through this palette? You could. No. I'll take it then. Give it to me. Excuse me. You get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Okay. okay? That's fine. <laughs> the universe decided we should have a side of rain with our block laying today. Yeah, let's make that sense. Just Power a drizzle. Work. Just a drizzle. Maybe more than a drizzle. <laughs> the coconut rain. Now it calls rain. Oh, it's actually calling for <laughs> yeah. rain now? It's gonna stop in 15 minutes and pick back up in 50 minutes. It's a little thing coming through, that's all. It's nothing crazy. We were supposed, supposed to, rain. to have rain all week. Or all day. So. <laughs> Just our luck. If it starts getting wild and crazy, it rains for, for like 45 minutes, it's gonna mess all that up probably. That course. That works so freaking hard on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> We realized pretty quickly last night that we were going to need to be able to work after nightfall. And just having temporary lighting set up last minute and trying to keep working was just not gonna work for us. We still didn't have enough light. So today, the first thing that we're going to do is set up as much temporary lighting properly as we can so that when nightfall hits tonight, which is probably gonna be around what, like 6.37, no. we start losing visibility? Oh, no, 5.30. Is it 5.30 now? Yeah. That's when we started losing visibility last yeah, night? Yeah, about 5 and it's dark around 5.30. Yeah. You can't see at 5.30. Yeah. So, we need some lights. Good lights, better lights, more lights, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We left off here on the north side of the house. It worked probably roughly one course being away from being at the top of the rebar. Once we're there, we're gonna go smooth sailing all the way around. We're gonna keep on going in circles, just like this, all the way around, moving those lines up. The plan is we're gonna lay block 12 hours a day for today and tomorrow. Because the previous two days, we were working for the first part of the day, like at work for the first part of the day, and then coming home and trying to use the second part of the day. And there really isn't a second part of the day Right now. No. It's dark. No. If we're going slow, we're trying, you know? Each block weighs 52 pounds. Is that true? Yeah. Each block weighs 52 pounds? Maybe 62 pounds. I'll check. You know how many blocks I've carried today? Yeah. Each block weighs 52 pounds. So we're picking, pull them over here, setting them down, picking them back up, setting them in place, picking up our rebar to our necks, and we're moving around. It's a lot of weight. No, it's
Here's your coat. Thank you. Now we probably need a little bit of light. <laughs> yeah. Already. De definitely. All right, let's do this. Whether or not we're able to actually finish this in a week is yet to be determined. Technically, we are only one 12 hour day into it and then a couple of partial days. So it's not a week no. <laughs> until we've reached seven days. Even if it takes us 24 hours per day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm beep. We got some work done now, you know? We definitely did. Looks good. So much blocking that joke, tell you what, especially a 12 hours shift. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. We're, we're at the point now where we're just not gonna, like, we can't go, I, like, physically cannot go any longer. My arms don't work. <laughs> My hands don't work <laughs> at all. Super proud of Aaron. She stuck it with me the entire way. Care, lifted an entire, she actually lifted an entire block of powder, so <laughs> gave it to me and we put it down. Worked all day. Most men can't do what she does. That's a fact. I am determined to build the safe room <laughs> if it's the last thing that I do. It might be the last thing we do. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna get it done. <sighs> yeah, are we done? Yeah, we got it. It's just gonna take time. Got 10 courses on top of that. Fill it with concrete and we're done. That's it. Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. <laughs> Let's clean up this car. Okay. We'll start over tomorrow. Yep. Alright, girl, I love you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Watch your step. Dude, those lights really pull through for us. Look at I that. know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>